What is up, everybody? It's been a little bit, but I'm back with some more low heat. And today we have a very interesting package that has arrived from uh, Adidas uh, in this giant box. No, it's not clown shoes, not giant shoes, just regular shoes. Let's get into unboxing. What's so I got these off of Adidas Confirmed. Shout out to Adidas Confirmed. I've been, I've had decent luck with them. And I've signed up for these particular shoes. A number of raffles did not hit. And so Adidas came through and I'm in a, at an icon level on Confirmed. So maybe that's why I got these. Maybe that's why I hit. I also this morning hit on a pair of Yeezy 700s. So maybe once you're at an icon level, you hit more or you're guaranteed. Someone let me know in the comments. I tried to go on the confirmed app to see what I get. All it says, all it talks about is uh, you win, you get to participate in certain events. So I'm like, uh, cool. Um, anyway, so I got these from Adidas confirmed. Have had some decent luck with Adidas. Um, so shouts to them. I uh, recently hit on those uh, Pharrell. Uh, human races check out that video pink the pink human races and so as you know from the youtube title already if you clicked it uh these are the adidas where is it yeah there we go zx 8000s um super earths w because it's their a to zx series and this is the w out of that series for sean weatherspoon um now a lot of people can't pronounce that name. It's definitely not water, and it's definitely not weather. So what I do is I just try to rush it, and with any things that you can't pronounce, if you just say it quicker, it sounds better. So it's Sean Witherspoon. See, it's not water, it's not weather. Oh, wait, I never get the do, I never do the do justice for the unboxing. Before I open this, please uh, subscribe, like, all the things you're supposed to say on YouTube videos, um, but seriously, I don't have a lot of subscribers. I have 150. Thank you for who all have subscribed and tuned back in after you subscribed. But uh, it really makes my day uh, if I see a new subscriber. I get about a new subscriber once every um, three to four days, and uh, I notice it. So if you want to make my day, um, go ahead and click subscribe. Just thumb up, subscribe, or uh, you know, on your computer. Okay. So that was a weird piece of glue it's for the unboxing. Should I make a TikTok of just literally opening the boxes? In all my past videos, I'm talking over it though. So I'd have to start that now. Continue the... All right, that's probably annoying. All right, so this comes in these A to ZX boxes. Uh, this is kind of standard for this series. Uh, same box that I got what I'm wearing on foot today in, also part of the A to ZX series, these Joshua Tree National Park uh, or National Park Project uh, Adidas. These are ZX 5000s though. These are ZX 8000s. Does anyone know why the difference in the numbers? Let me know in the chat. I tried to do some preliminary research while I was researching for these, and I could not figure out why some are 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, etc. on up. Um, so, comes with this. They're vegan, uh, organic canvas, uh, recycled uh, polyester. That's good. Um, paper laces, certified paper laces. Uh, recycled lining is recycled polyester and, uh, leftover threads under the translucent heel ca cage. I should pull these out. All right. I'll go back through the card in a second here. So let's just take a second to look at these. These are crazy. These are wild. These are wild. Okay. So back to this, uh, Recycled polyester lining right there. This lining is dope. It's got, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's the Adidas symbol, some uh, sh SW for the uh, Sean's signature initials, uh, the earth because these are super earths. Um, we use leftover threads under the translucent heel cage. So that's what those are. The outsole uses natural rubber from rubber trees and 10% waste rubber. So only 10% of this. Um, sole is waste rubber. Uh, 
and then all yeah it's vegan all all components used in this oh were not made from uh, any animal ingredients organic recycled polyester upper um so yeah so that's what that comes with this little explainer card of how these were made which is cool i'm down with uh, uh, a lessening carbon footprint, lessening waste, uh, lessening the materials used and, and all that, the carbon emissions put into the air by making these. That being said, it's kind of ironic. I don't know if anyone else got the Adidas box, this giant cardboard Adidas box. Now I'm assuming this is, uh, made from recycled reused cardboard, I hope. And I have a size 12, so the box was larger. So that's part of the reason I'm sure, but uh, that's not the most efficient for shipping a box with that much space. So that's a little bit ironic, a giant cardboard box. Um, and these are supposed to be, uh, you know, earth conscious shoes. But um, I do appreciate Sean's approach uh, uh, with this. I mean, I think certain some pe some cynical people today are like, oh, that's just that's just to get you to buy it. That's just, they don't care about the earth. That's just a selling point. Well, you know, it's a means to an end. Uh, that's fine. If, you know, if it if it's, does a good deed in the process, if even if the, the goal was to make money, I mean, better than just not doing a good deed in the process. So that's what I say to cynical people is, would you ha rather have it the count, uh, on the contrary? And I think it's, you know, more noble to at least fake an effort than just not at all. Um, so there, there are different, I pulled out the other shoe. They are different, the left and the right, as you can see. Um, uh, I'm not going to point out everything. There's a million unboxing videos. So I try for this channel to give you more of an experiential, um, look, uh, for you to, you know, get to what's, what's the word I'm struggling for. Um, live vicariously through unboxing. Maybe you didn't get these and you want to just experience kind of what it'd be like to open these up or get these, or maybe you're on the fence about getting these and uh, you want to see them. So I'm not going to point out everything like some other channels, other channels do that better than me. Um, but I'm trying to bring something different to the table, just more my opinion on them, um, et cetera, et cetera, stuff like that. So let's see, let's see, before I get into the shoe, let's just see if there's anything else in the box because sometimes I forget that stuff. So the box inner is different, has that uh, design kind of matches the shoes, different looking material uh, print. And, uh, oops, you can't even see that, um, plaid and stuff. So different box inner, but the, um, comes with an extra pair of laces. Uh, and it says the clean classics. So this definitely looks like, yeah, recycled paper laces. Uh, can you see that? Uh, focus. There you go. So white pair of laces. Uh, my friend uh, Connor, um, who donated his shoes for the Pink Air Force One unboxing on my channel, he uh, got these from Goat, did an unboxing yesterday on uh, Instagram, and he already swapped in the white laces. So that's his choice. He's not as loud and flashy of a person as I am. So I'll probably keep the green for a while. And then when these need a uh, freshen up, I'll swap the laces. That's kind of my approach. Um, new laces can make a shoe look uh, newer. Um, might seem obvious to some people, but uh, I like to do that. So back to the shoes. Different uh, left and right. On the right one, you can see you got uh, some, the plaid here on the toe box and uh, different color stitched flowers on each one. And the heels are different on each one, different color. Um, slightly different bottoms. You got the, the tor classic torsion uh, frame uh, for the ZX series. Again, I don't know what the difference in the numbers are, but these are ZX 8000s. And here, let's look at the, they have different insoles. And then Connor commented on this when he got them. They're a little, they were loose on his. And they definitely came loose on mine. They're not stuck in. So different insoles. That's, that's one. Got Sean's name on it. Now, a lot of people like Sean's, uh, obviously, Air Max 97s. Um, I was one of those people, but didn't get them, unfortunately. Um, I do like these. I like the Superstars um, that he did. I like the Asics. I like this Silhouette a lot. I feel like the Superstar is obviously cleaner from a design perspective, but I, I like the the ZX model uh, a lot. 
as you can see, I got these and I have another pair. These are sick. I love these. The materials on these, the laces. I love the theme with the national parks. I've been to I've Joshua Tree many times. Check my unboxing video of these on the channel. Um, 3M laces. Uh, so go to my channel and there's an unboxing video uh, of these. If you want to know more about these, click on that. Give it a like. So I think the main thing with these is like where people might be hesitant is there's so much going on that like, how do I wear these, right? My, my, one, my one major critique, because uh, I like these a lot. Uh, my one major critique is I think this is interesting, right? You don't see this on many shoes. That's different. I'm all for different and interesting. I just wish it, they did it up higher, right? Made this the loose stitching up higher so that way it didn't drag. This is going to get dirty, gross, pull, uh, just look real grody, I think, quick. So I might just give this a little haircut, a little snippy snip. So I wish that the loose threads were up higher on the shoe and that way they didn't drag. That's my one major design critique. It's not that I don't like this or you shouldn't have done that. That's fine. That's new and interesting. All for it, like I said, just I wish it would have, like, this would have been there. Just a simple difference. And then this wouldn't uh, drag on the ground because that's going to get gross really quick. Anyways, but that, that's easily solvable. That's easily solvable. I'll either wear away or I'll, get, I'll cut them. Um, so you got different tongues also. So I'm all, I, I enjoy the theme, the super earth theme, recycled materials. And I think you can wear these like with these purple socks, these purple Supreme socks is a good choice. Uh, because these are so loud, I would go solid color sock like these. These also go well with these, obviously. Um, so the Supreme, uh, purple socks I just got recently. I think those would be a good choice for these. I think these are good with, uh, shorts. Uh, maybe. And um, yeah, the shoes are loud. So maybe some toned down pants, jeans, solid color pants, and then you could go crazy with the top. I think these would be great too. Uh, beach. These are good, not like in the sand, but you know, beach town shoes. I think these are also good, obviously with flannel on top. Um, corduroy, of course, is kind of Sean's theme. There's no corduroy on these. But obviously woven fabric materials is kind of his jam. And so, uh, yeah, I think, I think you can pull these off. These aren't too expensive uh, for resale. So if you're thinking about them, I think these will creep up slowly over time. I don't think these are going to get crazy. Like these are going to be like super expensive. I don't think these are going to be like $800 or anything. But I do think they're relatively cheap right now. These were like rumored i mean these were shown to be releasing forever so like and now they finally dropped I th there's lots of pairs on the market lots of supply so if you want a dead stock pair i would get them now before the dead stock pairs start disappearing and people start wearing them because i don't think i think these will wear well right like they'll be look good fine worn but you as a consumer wouldn't want these you i wouldn't want to buy these um uh, worn if they were worn more than 10 times like these really pick up probably the dirt and absorb all the stuff uh you know the fabric gets run down quick so if these are my pair that's fine but i'm just saying i wouldn't want to buy someone else's well-worn pair so i highly suggest if you like these at all buy them sooner than later before these start to creep up and the dead stock uh pairs and supply starts to go down Let's take a look right okay that's meant to do that i was wondering if that was like a defect okay these are meant these little blue hits paint hits there that's kind of cool that's kind of cool so let me know what you think of these these are loud these are not for some people but i think if you're on the fence like oh i couldn't pull these off i think you totally could just uh, be a little mindful of what you wear and how you wear them solid color socks i think if you're doing shorts i think uh solid color pants are a good fit with these and then you can go loud on top, vintage t-shirt, a plaid, flannel, you know, that fits this vibe and fits Sean's kind of design aesthetic. And uh, so shouts to him. I think these are dope. I think it's a cool collab. I love the ZX series. I love the, the A to ZX series for Adidas. So shouts to them. This is my second pair in the series. And uh, yeah, I really dig them. So remember to uh, subscribe. And I got another video coming out soon. So check that out. Um, one thing I'll mention, uh, I forgot, I'll
cut this into the video somewhere is uh first this guy I didn't address this thing uh that's kind of cool i don't know put on a keychain uh his little super earth figure uh sean figure um but little recycled materials like this uh, all this stuff makes a big difference because all that little plastic stuff that stays you know it doesn't break down all the usual plastic things like that that doesn't uh, go away so that just stays in the earth forever so that's cool that it's like um materials that can decompose actually uh also i was going to mention uh if i do i'm not going to try these on because the insoles are kind of whack uh so i gotta fit those they'll take forever um but if you want i could do a wear test kind of review after a while i'm definitely going to rock these and wear these so uh let me know if you're actually still watching the video if you want me to do like a try on uh wear review video of these uh i can do that and then one more note um about uh I sound so formal on these and all you guys are hypebeasts. You probably think I'm like, this is a school teacher unboxing these videos. Um, sorry about that. Uh, anyways, uh, one more, uh, point to make on kind of styling these. I think, uh, you just pick out any of these colors and this might seem obvious, but some people like struggle. So most of you are like, yeah, I know how to wear these. But for the, the three of you out there that watch this video that are like, I don't know what I would wear with these. Uh, you know, all you got to do is you pick out one of these colors, go to your wardrobe, go to your closet, pick out something that you got, yellow shirt, etc. cetera. Um, also brown, uh, brown, and then that's all you do is that will, that accent on these shoes will pair nicely with whatever you choose to uh, put on top. Uh, mainly, mainly, mainly as a shirt and jacket um, is what I would match to. Um, and then the pants, you know, I don't, I don't know what pants you got, but you know, blue jeans are fine. They don't, the, your pants don't have to match any of these colors exactly, but take something, hat, hoodie, jacket, shirt, and try to match one of the colors, one of the accent colors in this, and you'll be good to go. All right.